WeWork is already the largest private tenant in Manhattan with over 2.7 million square feet of space, and it's growing rapidly. The WeWork Reality Capture team supports the build out and renovation of spaces with the use of high accuracy laser scanning and 360 degree photography. With me today on HXGN TV to talk about innovation in reality capture and architecture is Thad Wester of the Rework, WeWork Reality Capture team. Welcome, Thad. Thanks, thanks for having me. So Thad, tell me a little bit about WeWork and what makes the company unique. Yeah, so uh, WeWork provides shared office space to our members. And so our members range from one person, small companies, all the way up to large divisions of entire companies, right? And so what separates us from traditional uh, co-working space and also traditional office space is uh, that our spaces are highly designed. So they're designed to have a really great experience in your office space. There's free beer, free coffee, uh, telephone booths to make quiet phone calls in. Another aspect that separates us is our community. So uh, every WeWork space, you're involved in this, this community greater than yourself. Uh, the stat right now for us is about 50% of our members have done business with one another. So you can imagine how valuable that is for a small business to be able to reach out to the community like that. Um, another thing we have is we have our own app. So the app provides um, a way for uh, the community members to interact with one another, to connect not only within a building, but also across uh, the larger network of WeWork buildings. And then it also allows uh, each member to interact with the actual building itself and communicate things uh, to the building. I know it's a very popular approach right now, and from what I understand, a lot of what WeWork is doing is going into existing buildings and renovating those spaces. That creates a lot of challenges. Can you tell me about some of those challenges? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we deal with these challenges every day. And when I think about what we're building at WeWork, we're building a custom at scale. So this is not just some floor plan that we've optimized and we can just fit it into new buildings as we build out. There are just a tremendous amount of variables on each building that makes it a custom building. And so uh, some of the variables are, you know, is the floor flat? Um, are the columns laid out like you think they would be, or are they kind of irregularly spaced? Uh, so these are the, the things we have to account for in our design. And so our ability to account for those variations determines ultimately uh, part of the member experience at the end of the day. So your team goes in and you use reality capture to document the space very accurately. Can you tell me a little bit about that process? Yeah, absolutely. So once we decide to take a building, we the reality capture team is released um, after the space is demolished. So all the structural components are, are visible for the scanner. Um, so we get on site. And so a typical WeWork building would be, let's say, 20 stories. And so WeWork will take uh, a couple stories, uh, a couple floors within that larger building, and the reality capture team will actually end up scanning the entire building. So we'll go up one staircase, up to the roof, down the other staircase, through the lobby, the exterior, basically the whole building plus just the floors that we're going to take. And so what that allows us to do is build a coordinate system for the whole building. So we have an entire building uh, in one coordinate system. So if we want to uh, come back at a later date and take more floors. So if we took four floors and we want to expand to six floors, uh, we can just pop those floors in in the same coordinate system. They pop right into Revit for our designers. And then uh, another way that that helps us to have the whole building in one coordinate system is uh, if we want to go back and scan uh, during construction. So uh, if you've ever been in one of these high-rise buildings, the whole building will just change. There's nothing the same um, except for the stairwells. So because we've scanned the stairwells, it allows us to plug in uh, the same levels over and over again during construction to monitor the layout, things like that. So you're using laser scanning. Do you want to mention which laser scanner you're using? Uh, yeah, we use uh, the Leica P20 is, our, is the one we own. And then, uh, you know, we use uh, Cyclone, uh, is I think is probably like our secret sauce. Um, an entirely targetless workflow. We don't use targets, um, and it's because of Cyclone. And things like uh, using the staircase as the control points to uh, do repeat surveys, you can't leave control on these high-rise buildings. It will just, someone will move it, or it could get damaged over uh, the kind of time scales that we think about. And so being able to plug in uh, into the stairwells is, is really valuable for us. So it sounds like there are a lot of benefits to using laser scanning for this particular type of work. What are some of the key um, benefits that you guys have achieved compared to traditional methods that might be used? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we think it's night and day difference between 
um, you know, scanning, reality capture, spherical photography, scanning, and, uh, and traditional, you know, hand measurement, 2D CAD. Um, you know, I think you can make the case that the scanning is faster, that it's more accurate, that it's more complete documentation. But at the end of the day, what matters for our designers is that uh, they have confidence that their design is going to fit at the end of the day, and that's that's really what it gives us. So with the laser scanning, you end up with a point cloud, which is a 3D representation of the space. What is the value of this point cloud, both to WeWork and to your clients? Yeah, it's, it's tremendously valuable to uh, a number of organizations within WeWork. So uh, one way that it's really valuable is by measuring square feet very accurately. So uh, the economics of our buildings are based on square, square footage. So uh, the price we pay for the lease is based on square feet. The number of desks we can fit in a floor bases on square feet. Uh, so being able to measure that accurately with a laser scan, which I have to assume is the, the best way to measure it, um, is important for us to get that accuracy. Um, the second way that we use it, um, another, another team that uses it would be the, just the design team. So uh, a typical thing is we'll kind of design based on what we think the space looks like, and then we'll scan it, and then they get to compare and see what the actual existing conditions are. Um, and so just this basic clash, being able to see you know, where the columns are, are they coming through someone's desk? That's not a good thing. Um, being able to competently, again, say, hey, we're going to build out 55 desks in this floor, and having that confidence that you know that those 55 desks will fit and there's not going to be any kind of um, issues with the structural components that can't be moved or the pipes, um, you know, that's, that's the value that it brings. That confidence in the data is so important. Yeah, it absolutely. Operates, it allows you to operate so much more efficiently, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah. Now, one of the unique aspects of WeWork is that the company has actually brought in-house a lot of the services that have traditionally been outsourced, things like reality capture. What is the benefit of this vertical integration? Yeah, I mean, for, for the reality capture team, and, and I had my own scanning business before I came to WeWork, so I kind of understand both sides of the equation and, and the, the benefits that we enjoy being internal. So the first, the first thing we enjoy is just speed, right? So we, we, we're just focused on WeWork's projects. We don't have to worry about clients. We are our own client, so that's great. And we deliver, uh, on average, we're probably delivering a point cloud to our designers within a week of them requesting it, which is extremely fast. And some of these projects are all over the world, hundreds of scans, so we're able to do that for them. And, and not just speed on site, but um, if you have a contractor come in, you need to arrange for access to the building, um, access for insurance, all these different things. It's paperwork that you have to go through. It's just, uh, we're able to just remove all that and just go and go scan. Being internal, also, we, um, we're able to knowledge share with a designer. So we're able to constantly get feedback on our workflows. Uh, was the point cloud? Did we do too many scans? Is this enough scans? Um, do you need color photos? Do you not need color photos? And they're able to ask us about scanning and learn about scanning. And so we've tweaked our workflow significantly, become faster internally at scanning. And uh, you just can't do that as an outside contractor. You just don't get that open line of communication like we do being internal. Absolutely. Well, it sounds like WeWork is really on the leading edge of a new trend in 3D innovation. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I mean, uh, we design every WeWork in 3D. We're believers in 3D data. We design every WeWork, we have a model of it down to the espresso machine that fits in our pantries. Um, so we have full 3D models. And you know, as, we, as we're growing and, and we go into new markets and we start to vet new vendors, new, new architects, uh, new consultants, new engineers, it's starting to become a requirement that these people work in 3D for us, that they know how to use a point cloud. Um, and we're starting to kind of push the envelope on what we can do with 3D data. So we're starting to uh, prefabricate ductwork components um, to reduce our costs. We're starting to think about how we can automate construction processes across all of our buildings uh, so we can build faster and cheaper. And all these things, they, they start with you know, 3D data. And if you, wanna, if you have an existing condition and you want to make it an accurate 3D data set, it starts with a point cloud. Absolutely. Very exciting developments. I look forward to seeing what WeWork does next. Absolutely. Thank you, Thad. For more information about WeWork, visit WeWork.com. You can find more episodes on HXGN TV at HXGNTV.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.